Photographic portrait of John Fitzgerald Kennedy, frequently referred to as JFK. Kennedy served as the 35th President of the United States from 1961 until his assassination in 1963. He holds the distinction of being the youngest individual ever elected to the presidency. Inauguration Day, January 20, 1961. Photograph of President John F. Kennedy in white tie formal attire. The location is the Sheraton Park Hotel in Washington, D.C. Seen behind the president is Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara. This is one of five inaugural balls held in honor of the new president. McNamara established himself as a trusted confidant to Kennedy, promoting the implementation of a blockade in the midst of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Together, Kennedy and McNamara developed a Cold War defense policy known as Flexible Response, which foresaw the necessity for military actions that didn't escalate to full-scale retaliation. February 23, 1961. President Kennedy meets with the director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, J. Edgar Hoover, and Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy. White House, Washington, D.C. Hoover served as the director of the Bureau of Investigation, BOI, the predecessor to the FBI, for 11 years starting in 1924. He then became instrumental in founding the FBI in June 1935, where he remained as director for an additional 37 years until his death in May 1972. This totals to 48 years of leadership across both the BOI and the FBI. March 11, 1961. President John F. Kennedy visits with his nephew, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., RFK Jr. presented his uncle with a salamander, Shadrach. White House, Washington, D.C. May 25, 1961. Kennedy in his historic message to a joint session of the Congress declared, I believe this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal, before this decade is out, of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. This goal was achieved when astronaut Neil Armstrong became the first human to set foot upon the moon at 10.56 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, July 20, 1969. Shown in the background are, left, Vice President Lyndon Johnson, and, right, Speaker of the House Sam T. Rayburn. June 28, 1961. Kennedy, right, meets with General Maxwell D. Taylor, left. White House, Washington, D.C. Taylor, a polarizing individual, was believed to have significantly influenced the initial stages of the Vietnam War. Alongside Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara, Taylor was instrumental in the determination to send American combat forces to Vietnam and to intensify the overall conflict. September 13, 1961. Photo of President Kennedy signing an anti-crime bill, the Interstate Wire Act. At his right are ceremonial pens. The bills are signed, with the president making a stroke or two of his signature with one of the pens then giving it to someone who played a key role in making the bill a law. He then continues this process, making his signature a bit at a time, in order to produce a number of ceremonial pens, all of which were used to sign the particular bill into law. September 29, 1961. President Kennedy and Family. President Kennedy, Mrs. Kennedy, John F. Kennedy Jr., Caroline Kennedy. Newport, Rhode Island, Hammersmith Farm. October 25, 1961. President Kennedy meets with Dr. Chetty Juggan, Premier of British Guiana. White House, Washington, D.C. November 14, 1961. First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy accepts a chest of handmade clothes sent by female students in Korea and presented by General Chung Hee Park, Chairman of the Supreme Council for National Reconstruction of the Republic of Korea. President Kennedy looks on. White House, Washington, D.C. December 1961. President and Mrs. Kennedy in Venezuela during trip to South America. December 16, 1961. First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy delivers remarks in Spanish at La Morita Resettlement Project in La Morita, Venezuela, during a ceremony granting land titles to farmers under the Agrarian Reform Program. President Kennedy stands to the right of Mrs. Kennedy, President of Venezuela Romulo Betancourt sits on the far right. February 28, 1962. 
meeting following Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy's trip to Asia and Europe, White House, Washington, D.C., left to right, Secretary of State Dean Rusk, Vice President Lyndon Johnson, Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy, President John F. Kennedy. August 11, 1962. President Kennedy sails aboard the U.S. Coast Guard yacht, Manitou, off the coast of Maine. November 19, 1962. President Kennedy meets with United States Ambassador to Canada, W. Walton Butterworth. White House, Washington, D.C. March 31, 1963. Weekend at Camp David. President Kennedy, John F. Kennedy Jr., Caroline Kennedy. August 14, 1963. Hyannisport Weekend. President Kennedy, John F. Kennedy Jr., Mrs. Kennedy, Caroline Kennedy. November 22, 1963. Picture of President Kennedy in the limousine in Dallas, Texas, on Main Street, minutes before the assassination. Also in the presidential limousine are Jackie Kennedy, Texas Governor John Connolly, and his wife, Nellie. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing for more interesting historical content.